Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be water marbling with some of the Aliana's Collection polishes. I've got my fingers prepped with Meltix Formula 2 and to a coat of Luncheon from Mustache Polish or Stash Polish and then topped with Posh Top Coat and I've got my liquid latex on. I've got a cup of room temperature regular old water and this is Eleni Eliana's Collection Drama Free and Eliana's Collection Hot to Trot. And I'm just going to build my bullseye. First I'm going to run this toothpick around the cup to make the polish spread to the edge. And then I'm just going to go one by one. I'm going to do the purple and the pink and the purple and the pink and build my bullseye up so that I can draw my design in. And these did a really, really good job of water marble and I was really happy with them. And I'm going to get some bottles out of my way so I don't knock them over. And I'm just going to go for a little flower petal design today. Drawing from the outside into the center and dipping in to kind of secure it. Wiping my toothpick off in between each swipe, at least each swipe that I remember to do it. You know, sometimes I forget, um, but it keeps the polish from building up on the edge and it keeps your toothpick sharp so that you can keep drawing nice straight lines. And I'm going to dip my thumb in and with this toothpick I'm going to go in and get all the excess polish picked up off the top of the water and then slowly pull out. There we go. And we're going to wrestle this latex off of my finger, off my thumb. Technically not a finger, it's a thumb. Ugh, snap. This is just being honorary, and this is the worst trouble I've ever had getting any latex off, I promise. I was beside myself. Like, come on already. I got four more fingers today. <laughs> there we go, finally. And I'm going to continue doing my other nails the same way, running that toothpick around the edge and continue building my bullseye. It's been a little while since I did a water marble and I was really excited that I had the time to do it. And to be honest, I don't really think it takes me that much longer to do a water marble than any other manicure that I do, whether it's making decals or, <laughs> you know stamping I just in my head it does take longer so I always wait to do it when I know that I have the time and I'm drawing that flower petal shape in there again and here we go for the dip Ta-da! Do some more cleanup. And there we go. And we're going to peel this latex off again. <clears throat> Tina's having some issues today. There we go. And we're going to continue this again. Just going to keep on doing the same thing. But I know that a lot of you enjoy watching water mar marble videos. And I didn't want to just do one finger and show you on one fingernail. I'll, I decided to go ahead and show all five of them this time. Um, maybe there's something in it <laughs> in one of these frames that will you know be helpful to you in your pursuit of water marbling if you have um, been struggling with it maybe you'll see something in here that that helps and there we go we're ready for another dip and voila and I do always pinch the cup with my two fingers whatever fingers down in the cup and my thumb so that I can hold it steady while I you know get that excess off the top of the water I'm not finishing my sentences now I'm so, uh, sorry snap there we go then we're gonna peel this one off much better it's getting easier 
Practice makes perfect, right? We're going to set these up again. But I do adore water marbling. I, I've said it many times that if I could water marble for every manicure, I would. I just would do it. I love the look. I love playing with it. I enjoy myself with it. Um, that wasn't the case when I first started doing it. No. I was so frustrated with it, I almost gave up. But I didn't. And now I'm glad I didn't because I really do enjoy this um, technique. That's what it's called. It's a technique. So, here we go. Dip, dip. And here we go, dipping in. And cleaning up. And you'll have to ignore the memsops in the background talking. They're out in the house doing chores. So, here we go. Snap this one off. Peel it off. Ta-da! Got a little bitty piece over here that's bugging me. I'm going to try to get it without stinking up my nail art. Because I have done that before. Go to clean up and then totally ruin something. Put a big old gash in it. So here we go. Building up our last bullseye for the pinky. I just really do love, love this one. I, I love all the water marbles, I think. I, you know, even the ones that I didn't really like the outcome, you know, slap some northern lights or fairy dust on it, and voila, you got yourself a pretty mani. Oops, it's starting to dry out on the edge. I have to be careful. So, here we go. This is the last dip. Plink. Got her done, and I'm cleaning up that top again with the toothpick, and there we go. Pretty happy with this one, and I did end up with a little bit of bubbling um, that does happen, and I tried to press them down, and I still ended up popping a few after I did my top coat, but you know, that's just to be expected. And if it really bothers you, there is a trick you can do. Where those dots are, pick out your dotting tool. Dot in some little white dots or another color of polish. Act like you meant for it to happen. <laughs> I've done that before. But you can just put in little dots where the white dots are and just add some more to make it look all uniform. And I had a few places where the polish didn't totally, totally, um, you can see right there on my thumb where it didn't totally cover the whole nail. So I will show you how I address that. Right now, I'm going to go in and do some cleanup, and I'm going to do this first, just in case I need to add even some more touches from my cleanup, because sometimes I get a little crazy on my cleanup and make more of that white under coat show. And I am getting all the way up under that little fingernail. It's a little curvy, so it's a little tough. But overall, this one turned out pretty good. And um, I do need to make note to self to try to water marble more often. And there you go. See, I just messed that one up a little bit more. So it's going to need a little love in just a minute. Here we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to break out my little tiny detail brush and just a little dab of the pink polish and I'm going to go in just very carefully um, go in and try to touch up a few of these little spots that are bothering me. Nothing major, just, um, you know, figure I got the time to do it, I might as well go ahead and stop and address it. If I don't, I'll probably only wear it for one day and then want to take it off because the spots are bugging me. So we're doing a little more eyeballing. There we go. Another one. One little bitty spot right here. And up. Oh, Got to get 
that one on the thumb. There we go. Alrighty, pretty good. We're going to top this one off with some posh top coat. And then we're going to call it done. So let me know what you think about this one down below in the comments. You know, I always love chatting with you about polish. Um, oh, and Woody had to come say hello. Hi, Woody. So there we go. That's what we've got this time. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you liked it. I want to thank you for coming and watching. And that is all I have for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.